welcome back this is our second tutorial on dell cam power mill so in the first tutorial we have learned how to check the models so once we decided the model is okay for machining then we have to do next thing so first we will import the model by right clicking on model click on eg select the model share the model isometric view so next acti uh, activity once model is okay then next activity will be to define the raw material that is block in uh, power mill it is called as block so by clicking on block you can define the raw material if you directly click on calculate it will <coughs> automatically calculate the material as per your model it will fit the model and if you want to change the size of the material before that you can make the block on off by clicking on this button if block is not visible you have to click on this button or from this draw also you can make it on off so if i want to change the size of the block suppose i want size to be less in so this is the x y z direction are there so horizontal is x vertical is y this side is y and this side is z so in x direction suppose i want to reduce the size of the block by 10 mm so here you have that x y and z so here i can directly minus the x by 10 so i am making it 70 and max also 70 so here you can observe that the block size has reduced by 10 mm here so in this way you can control how much it should be uh, change so you can change the uh, coordinates xyz coordinates and as per that you can increase or de decrease the block size suppose in z direction in max direction i want to increase by 10 mm so i will make it 80 so in the z direction you will have that it has increased by 10 mm so block is above your model by 10 mm plus so in this way you can manually adjust the block size as per your requirement or if you want to you can also adjust the block size using expansion so if i say here calculate so it is 0 to 0 feet now suppose i want to change the block reduce the block size 10 in x and y direction so here i can lock the current size so i have locked the z direction so i want to reduce the 10 so i will give here my extension expansion as minus 10 and here now i will click on calculate so it has decrease the size of block in x y direction from four corners so in this way also you can control the block size or suppose i want 10 plus 10 plus in all direction so i will unlock the z and i will say calculate so you have the plus block size in all the directions so in this way you can control the block size so you can define your raw material the way you want so I will say it expansion 0 calculate then accept they apply the raw material then next step will be to create the tool so first we want to do the roughening activity so for uh, just right click on tools uh, go to create tool and select the type of tool you want to create suppose I want to create a tapper, a tapper tip uh, tapper tip uh, I want to create a tip radius tool so I will say tip radius then i have to define here the diameter of the tool suppose i want to tool of 30 then my tip radius is suppose 5 then here you have to give the proper name to the tool so that if there are 50 tools are there you should be able to recognize this particular tool so i will give suppose for this tip radius you can use the nomenclature like tr for tip radius then you can say 30 r 5 so in this way you can give a proper nomenclature is very important so that you can recognize this locker later on so in this way tool has been defined then next activity is to define the strategy so from tool for strategies uh, before that you have to define the speeds and speeds 
feeds and feeds for the your particular that strategy so here you can define the spindle speed then this will be the cutting field rate what is the cutting field rate that you have to define here then plunging field so this will be the field when tool enters inside the material so it will be the spindle speed rpm spindle rpm cutting field the material will be cut at that field rate plunging field is when uh, tool is entering in the material at that time what should be the field rate and then uh, skim field rate is movement of tool in at what speed tool will move in air so that will be the skim field rate you can uh, either define the cutting conditions or you can also define the tool or material properties so as per that these cutting conditions will be adjusted automatically just say accept then take the tool path strategies suppose uh, for roughening they called uh, power mill called it 3d area clearance roughening strategies are defined as 3d area clearance suppose i will take this offset area clear model okay okay so this dialog box is here so here you can define you can uh, from here you can change the tool if other tools are available or current tool you can edit from here or you can create new tool from here also you have to give some good name to it proper name suppose i say rough rough 30 then you have to define here the tolerance your machining should be at what tolerance then you have to define the thickness here thickness is basically the material left after the running of that particular strategy so it will be uh, used for the finishing strategies so as per that you have to define suppose i want to run two finishing strategies two semi finish semi finish and final finish so i am keeping here a point for you as a thickness then here you have to define the step or so step or will depend on you know, step or is uh, basically the gap between two cuts so spacing between the two cuts so step 4 will be as per your tool it will vary so normally 60 70 percent you can keep for tip radius tool suppose i say 25 is my step 4 then step down then that means after completion of one lever if you want to enter into the second level by how much distance it should go down so that is step down so here you have to keep suppose 0 0.2 0 0.3 as per material and tool uh, tooling size and rpm all those factors are responsible for the de decision of step down so as per your experience you have to take the step down proper step down so for this particular reason i am taking one so that it don't take more time for calculation but practically one is not feasible that you have to keep in mind so once basic parameter are defined then just click on apply so it will calculate the tool path It is still calculating okay so it is all, almost final so in this way this tool path has been generated here so here you can see the tool path by making the model of so in this gray color is block wireframe is there so in this way this particular tool path is created now to visualize this tool path how this tool path will run to be for visualization how to do that visualization that we will see now so we will make the model on so for that visualization you have to click on this view mill on just click on view mill on <coughs> then select the type of visualization you want to do suppose i want to do a rainbow shade image visualization then click on that then select here the tool path for which tool path for rough 30 i want to view the visualization and just click on this run button so it will play the visualization 
so it will show you how the machining will be performed so you can increase or reduce the speed using this button speed of the machining so in this way it will show you the complete machining up to the best possible as per the tool size it will keep the material so wherever tool entry is not possible it will keep the material as it is you can uh, to come out you have to click on this exit view mill halt view mill and simulation yes then if you want to do the simulation from start again now tool add uh, tool has entered inside the material so just click on this tool part right click on rub 30 and say again simulate from start so it will come back to 00, zero position then just say view mill on suspend suppose i want in some other format so here is no image is there so it will not create any image it will in in wireframe only it will show the how it is doing the machining so it will not create any graphics image like previous one previous simulation so this is a no image simulation then next is dynamic simulation so in this way you can view the different simulations here dynamic simulation is there plane image is there then this machining image is there so you can click on those button and you can see the respective simulation so in this way we have completed our this tutorial thanks for joining